say, whether you like or dislike what's going on in the government, it's really important that you spend a lot of your time and attention trying to change the reality on the ground within whatever constraints public policy imposes. That's what we do with the Clinton Global Initiative at the opening of the UN every year. We bring in business people, philanthropists, government leaders, and NGOs. I, we fly people in from the poorest countries in the world who are active on the ground doing things and who don't have their own money. And we all get together, and instead of giving speeches, everybody just has a conversation and makes a commitment. And in the last six years, those commitments have already measurably improved the lives of 300 million people in 180 countries just by asking people to do it. We have one for university students every year. And university students, as you know, don't have a lot of money. <laughs> but very often they have the best ideas. Last year, two students at Berea College. Uh, anybody here from Berea? It's fascinating. <laughs> Berea College was established before the Civil War in Kentucky, 1855. A university then opened to women, which was a radical idea at the time, and also available to African Americans. And they have very low tuition, all the students work on campus, but two students decided that they would go out into their neighborhood in eastern Kentucky, which is hilly and it's part of Appalachia, and do free energy audits. So they're doing it. And we found out um, that they can actually save these poor people a lot of money for almost no investment.